Hallo ihr Lieben, uh, ich bin Daniel Ogutu, Internist aus Deutschland. Welcome to Doki's Advice. As you already know me, Daniel Ogutu, the founder of Doki's Advice. This time uh, we came with Kisumu Neuroscience Initiative um, to uh, Joe TRH um, Hospital in Kisumu. And um, uh, I was delighted to meet uh, really beautiful and, and different surgeons. As it was a wonderful experience. We uh, had to operate around 20 or 25 cases last time. People are very grateful. The patients are very grateful for any little help they can get. They feel like we are one big family. Come, come and join us. Come and see for yourself. But I can tell you, it is our sound. We don't have to change the world, we can change the lives of few people and that is already the stepping stone and you people are doing a wonderful, wonderful work. Hello guys, um, welcome to Doki's Advice. Uh, my name is Daniel, yeah, I have uh, Maureen today here with me. Yes, we are in Russia hospital. Don't ask me why the hospital is called Russia. I think the Russians helped build it um, uh, some years ago. Um, but today it's called Jaramogi Odinga, Odinga Hospital. This is our Neurocamp 2022. Um, we've been here for three days now. And Natakatu uh, Kuliza Maureen, her experience, Vile Aliona Vitu, She's been with us for the first time as a nurse. Um, we wanted to create a, an opportunity also for nurses, physiotherapists, pharmacists to come with us and help us out because we need each and every hand we can get. I'm just eager and excited to hear what Maureen has to say. What was your experience? How do you feel um, now that you have done this? Hi everybody, this is just awesome. I'm just going to try and explain a bit of it. Uh, we came here on Monday. Um, it is my first time and it, I can tell you it was a good decision. Uh, Monday it was a bit uh, tricky because it was the first day, but uh, all in all we got to get to know new people, uh, the new system here, the way they work. And um, today is the third day and we feel like we are one big family. Uh, we've been meeting the patients. We've, we've seen some cases which are, I would say, a fog. Uh, what do you say? A fog? Uh, success cases, and it is just a good feeling. You're giving so much back, and um, I, w I would love to encourage the nurses. For, um, I'm, I'm one of the nurses. Even if you can't speak so much English, uh, I'm having a German nurse. Uh, she's trying, and we just, we're working together. I try to translate. I mean, it is not so hard. Like, medicine is medicine technique when whichever language you do it it is just nice like yesterday we had some time together as a team and we were talking apart from just working we are also having some time together to see around come come and join us come and join us it is hard to explain everything come and see for yourself but I can tell you it is awesome yes people are really in need um, we have um, seen various diseases um, brain tumors uh, spinal tumors we have also seen uh, uh, children yeah, who had hydrocephalus and needed a shunt. So I, I'm just eager to know, um, is there a case where you say, um, this touched me, this is a case where I think, oh my God, it was worth it being here? Yeah, actually I have several cases. There was a one, uh, I will say, I'm saying an old guy. He was telling me that he came here and he couldn't walk. And uh, one day post-op, we were just taking care of him. We gave him a good car wash and massage and we, to, we tried to mobili uh, mobilize him and he could walk and he was so excited and so thankful and grateful for that. And it is just a good feeling. Never been in the neuro neurology, but uh, the cases I'm seeing, I think I'm, I'm going to try and go back to neurology because you're seeing a lot of changes. Some people have so much pain. Uh, the next day you come there like the pain is gone and you know I don't know which medicine are you doing I wonder medicine but something we need people uh, when we try to do this uh, can you can try to help donate like if you can you donate something we need some medicines we need some things like small small things it, it, it makes a change it makes a change and the people are so grateful
grateful. If you have, if you have uh, extra syringes at your workplace and you like to join us, you can try organize there and come with it. I, ha- I also, we had a small baby, I think one year, one year or something, with hydrocephalus. He got a shunt. Uh, of course, he was having a bit of pain. He got some medicine and uh, he's getting better. And the mommy, I got to talk to the mommy and she was so grateful for this chance, people. Uh, we are changing lives. We are changing lives and we hope that you are going to do this together in future. So we have introduced our vacation program where you can um, come work and go for holidays. I hope that uh, for the next years we will always have a Kenyan nurse with us who will help you translate and understand the system and show you around. And we hope that maybe in coming future we may be able to have nurses who come work for maybe five, seven days and then go for holidays which is incredibly a great experience what your money what every penny you can get we need more dressings we need needles we need um, a medicine it is a major problem for us here in the rural area in kisumu so um, we are grateful about every help we could get we were able to get sponsors from various hospitals in germany it was good but it wasn't enough so if you're watching this and you're thinking hey how can i help maybe i'm not a medic or uh, i'm not a nurse or a doctor but i want to help um it's all about donating spreading the word around and letting people know what is happening currently we are going to do this for the next decades and this is a big thing Um, we have seen children grown-ups having hopes unfortunately we had also cases where we knew okay they won't be able to work anymore because they've been waiting for three years and we were saying if we could have have more neurosurgeons more surgeons more people we would have managed much more and some people wouldn't have have to wait for so long until uh, they get their surgery but it is your decision it is your chance I just wanted to realize what is happening here at this hospital a big hospital a good hospital with passionate workers and um, Maureen is there anything you would like to say or advise the people who are watching before we close uh, people, I would just like to say this. This thing is worth it. it I, I myself, I'll always be there. I'll always be there. So the more I come, the more I get experience. And you just get this thank you feeling back. It is giving it back to the society. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, follow, share on our, most of our channels, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, or whatsoever. And we want to go back to work. See you then. Bye-bye.